To help bring your CAD files to life, the latest version of Jigspace now enables you to spin objects and add animation effects. To do this, navigate to the part of your presentation and the object that you want to spin. In this case, I want to spin uh, this interior component here. In the toolbar, in the latest version, you'll notice there is now, underneath the color palette icon here, a little spin icon. You tap that uh, and you'll have the option to spin an object. To do this, you need to select a XYZ coordinate. Uh, this may take a bit of trial and error depending on how your files are configured. Uh, in this instance though, um, I'll, I've guessed that it's Z and that works. And then you basically just need to select a negative number or a positive number to do clockwise or counterclockwise rotation and then set the speed uh, just by moving the slider up and down. Really easy to use. You can see there that I've just uh, added there at 100. And I'm also going to add an instruction here to say you know, RPM uh, 30 spin because uh, I want that in my presentation. And then now when you transition between these two steps, the spin will automatically start. When you're in the editing mode, if you want to turn off these previews, uh, you can tap the little eye icon in this left corner here, which will uh, hide the animation whilst you're in the editing mode, but keep the animation when you're in the read-only presentation mode, because uh, it can get a little bit distracting if things are moving around. The second thing you can do to really bring your CAD to life is add what we call an effect or a flow effect. Uh, I'm going to make a new step here and show you this. Inside the library, we now have an effects category. And inside effects, there are all types of shapes um, that animate the flow of a surface. And you can use this to show the direction of movement, uh, indicate where something should go, or show how air or water or gas and other particles might move uh, through an object. Uh, in this case, I'm going to add uh, what we call a flow cylinder here in the top right to my jig. It shows sort of a surface uh, looping and moving upwards. And what I'm going to do with that one is uh, just make it look like gas moving through uh, this CAD file. Uh, so to do this, I'm just going to change the color of it. So you can see me just uh, moving my color slider here to a more bluey color. I'm going to bring that transparency down a little bit because I don't want to interfere too much with the file. So I've just brought that down a little bit. And then now I just need to put this into position. So it's a bit big for this CAD file. So I just need to uh, firstly get it a bit more into uh, this horizontal position, resize it down a little, and I'll just make that appear kind of in line here. And I also want this just to be the full length um, of this demonstration. You'll see there that's a little bit out of whack. But now that I've done that, perfect. And I'm just going to add an instruction uh, to my presentation to make that a bit more obvious, saying gas moves in this direction once RPM hits 30. Now when I view that in AR or in 3D, I get this extra uh, effect, uh, which is going to be really cool. So now when we view this in AR, you get the combination of the spinning effects, the flow effects, and it really does a great job of bringing your CAD files to life and helping tell a better story.